YouTube, what's going on today, guys? This is Girl Dad Cards, and I'm here with the next episode of my journey back into the hobby. Um, been a little bit since uh, the last rip. I believe what that must have been, you know, about a week ago, uh, when you know the hype of uh, Prism 2023 was, you know, in full effect with C.J. Stroud doing some big things uh, in the playoffs. Um, you know, unfortunately they came back down to earth this past weekend when they played the Ravens, but, uh, I think that guy's still going to be great. Uh, you know, uh, just let them continue to build in Houston, let him get some more, you know, experience and they're going to be, they're going to be a okay. Um, today, uh, as you guys might be able to tell, I don't have my little helper, my special guest with me. Uh, she's actually had a long day at school um, and starting to have a kind of a little bit of a long week and has a little bit of a nagging cough from a cold over the weekend. So she is resting up and I am here by myself. Um, sh sure, this is a question everybody has asked themselves in the past, but are these value packs valuable at all, right? Um, I know I've opened some oh which what have i opened before i have opened one of these guys in um my last random card or random pack opening i've opened some elite i think i've opened some don rust in the past right but you know i really wanted to try out a couple different uh versions right um 2023 prestige 2023 don rust uh, 2021 select and 2023 prism to really see like is there any value in here um i don't think there is i don't think there's a ton of value in these things um but you know you never know i believe you can pull autos in these three um i also believe you can pull downtowns there and then just like every other piece of uh prism retail you, you can't really pull anything super crazy in those but uh they do have the red white and blues which i'm actually a really big fan of so we'll we'll do that um i'm gonna just go in order of, of what you see basically in, in terms of like how excited i am uh to open each pack and you know we'll, we'll check it out so uh, we are a couple days away from the AFC and NFC Championship uh, games. Um, you got the Lions making their first trip to the NFC Championship game since, I think, 1991 when they lost to my skins um, against the 49ers. And then you've got in the AFC... Uh, surprise, surprise, you got the number one seed, um, the Baltimore Ravens, and that's weird, I'm surprised this stuff is on the front, well, let's just put this stuff in the back for now, um, yeah, they did this pack all backwards, um, playing the Kansas City Chiefs, it's hard to bet against Patty Mahomes and Andy Reid, that's a Brian Bercy. Uh, Joey Porter, you get two rookies, that's it. Uh, and then a bunch of base, you can flip it, I guess, but we're going to just kind of fly through these things. Uh, there's my guy, Sam Howell, who unfortunately probably won't be the commander starting QB next year. We got Antonio Gibson, We've got Eddie George. Kellen Winslow, Darwin James Jr. Love Darwin, and like I said, a bunch of other just base vet cards. Yeah, so nice fat stack of vet base, and then we've got a powerhouse Mike Evans. These are pretty cool. Um. I got, I think, a George Kittle of that already. I got an extra points. 
of prestigious pros. Debo, a Rashawn Jenkins, time stamped. And then these are our, I forget what these are called, Sunburst. So we got a, what is that, Sam Hubbard. These are good looking cards. And then, oh, Rashad Bateman. And then a Cameron Hayward. Yeah, Cameron Hayward. So no, nothing great. Um, you know, once again, not expecting a whole lot from these, but yeah, I guess we'll see. Let's probably my favorite card from this is that powerhouse. So let's put that out front. We got our Don Russ. Like I said, you can pull um downtowns from this i believe you can pull autos i'm not gonna be able to read that that writing is way too small um i think you can pull you know typical rated rookies and stuff like that so this it's okay um you know don russ hasn't necessarily been my friend this year uh in the stuff that i did rip i I went against my word and I picked up some more blasters. I found one of the holiday blasters, um, picked up one of the regular blasters and kind of holding on to those for a future video. But lots of base cards for anybody putting the base sets together. I guess this is okay. Um, I don't know. I've got a pretty fat stack so I might do that but we'll see so we got a DJ Turner Will Anderson that guy's good uh, but I don't even think he's the best defender on his team Christian Harris is kind of that guy oh Emmanuel Forbes that's for the PC so we like that then we got a legend series Otis Anderson those are good looking cards but nothing really special Color match Michael Gallup, a color match Romeo Aquara, a Devin Duvernay, and then our blue rookie is Yaya Diaby. So, like I said, nothing great, but, um, you know, definitely worth it, I guess, if you're putting the base set together, and you can't hate pulling a rookie of... A guy that you collect, right? Or a team you collect. Um, we got the value packs here for 2021 select. To be honest, uh, I picked up a I picked up four of these um, from eBay um, for about 40 bucks, and I actually thought they were um, the hanger packs. So I'm a little disappointed, but you know it is what it is. I I love select it's a good good product so unfortunately this class is kind of going downhill quickly got mac jones joey b diami brown Miss winston amir smith marset marshall falk chris evans travis etn uh we'll hold on to that one got a jacob harris kirk cousins base Oh, Jalen Waddle on the, what is this? The I forget what they call this guy. Certified, maybe? Uh, Aaron Rodgers, Numbers. Hidden Talents, Justin Tucker. Turbocharged, LT. I think I've got like eight of these because I was in a break of 2021 select for the Chargers. And our... Die cut is a Packer. Is that Aaron Rodgers? Oh, it is Aaron Rodgers. That's not too bad. Um, you know, obviously not any of the rookies, but you know, we got the Waddle, we got the Rodgers, got Diami Brown, got Mac Jones, Travis Etienne. So not terrible, but obviously not ideal um the value packs are a little bit rough in that product but i think it's still better than 
either of those two. And then what we really came for was the prism, you know, value pack. So um, I actually grabbed a bunch of these from Amazon the other day. I grabbed uh, three of them. Um, I think they were 15 bucks a piece, but they came in like four or five days. So I was pretty excited about that. Um, they did come in a huge box and I don't know if you could see that, but that corner is definitely soft. Um, but they came in a big box and they were just kind of moving around. So I'm expecting some damaged cards here. Cam Akers, Vita Vea, Carl Lawson, Felix Anudike Uzama is our first rookie. We got a silver rookie, Luke Musgrave. That's not terrible. I uh, got a green Devontae Adams. Oh, is that is that a silver prismatic? Oh, and we got another Felix. My goodness. Um, it is. It's prism. Nice. These are good looking cards. Uh, actually, it's the green one. You can see right there. Um, that's pretty cool. Or red, white, and blue. Ah, that's not a great sign if we already got a rookie there. So Felix, Drake London, got a prismatic of Jameer Gibbs. See, that's the base one right there. And our last card, Buck, not a rookie, Baker Mayfield. So overall, you know, Basically what I expected I was going to be getting out of this, not a whole lot, right? Um, if you're going to buy value packs, just kind of go in with that assumption that you're not going to really grab anything, not going to get anything out of these. I mean, the best card was a, probably that Joe Burrow or that Aaron Rodgers. So... Uh, I think I was pretty correct in saying that would be the best value pack, but, you know, is what it is. So um, if you could like the video right down there, bang that down there for me, um, subscribe and, um, you know, let me know if you've had any luck ripping value packs. I know I haven't, um, but, you know, would love to hear if anybody's had any big, big pulls from them. So I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and um, you guys take care of yourselves.